And good evening, friends. This is Possibility War episode, I think it's 75 or 76, something like that. Um, and there's there's a reason that the numbers have changed up a little bit. Uh, it is the 31st of July, 2022, uh, and you are now talking or hearing a one-year-older fella than I was last week. Um, anyway, uh, tonight... Uh, we're going to continue with Act 1, Dead Man's History, in uh, Relics of Power Trilogy, the original Relics of Power Trilogy, uh, uh, Adventure 1, which was known as the Destiny Map. And we are going to be continuing in Scene 4, The Ambush, which just began. And so we're going to, to have a little bit of, uh, of fun with that tonight, and hopefully some good things will... Uh, will come out of this. I think we're going to have some fun, but I have a feeling, and I may be wrong about this, I hope I'm wrong about this, uh, that the the ninjas are going to have a good time with our Storm Knights, and uh, our Storm Knights are going to have a little bit of a difficult time with it. Uh, this is the every other uh, weekend where the cards and the possibilities and the dice all seem to work against my players. Um, don't ask me why. It's just what happens. So let's get into it and um, find out actually what happens. Um, okay, a little bit of stuff to go over before we get started. Um, first off, uh, if you'll look at that uh, second tab from the left at the top right of your screen, uh, it looks like a fist in the air. That is your, uh, your combat tracker. Uh, and you should be able to see that. If anybody needs to move that out of the way, you should be able to right-click on the Fist uh, tab, and that will, will move your combat tracker uh, someplace else. And then, like me, you can look at the um, uh, the tech or the uh, chat at the same time to see everything that's going on. Um, so what I what's that? No, I'm just oh. looking at all the people that go before us. <laughs> well, it is a, a standard, or I'm sorry, it's a dramatic scene. The yeah. villains get to go first, and you guys are confused, which means that, uh, let, let me let me try and read this again. I'm going to read it carefully so that I make sure I get it right. I'm not worried about you guys, because this is my job. Uh, each member on the side affected by this condition cannot use their pool cards. You guys don't have any pool cards yet, uh, except for Nightbird and should be... Ginger. The opponent fails card. I just found out some important information about that. Uh, apparently, you can only play opponent fails against an opponent that is trying to attack or use an ability on you. Okay. Uh, the errata that came out I, probably some time ago that I didn't know about is, is now there. Um, I was watching um, Tuesday Night Torg with JM the GM, and uh, apparently they ran over that, and, and it was uh, problematic, uh, to say the least, to have somebody play an opponent fails card because they can only be played on people that are against you. Any questions before we before I move into the consequences of Peach's flashlight? <laughs> okay, I did go back and reset the lighting for everyone. Okay, um, uh, Artorius, you're probably the best example of this right now because of the flashlight, but uh, you yep. should be seeing a whole bunch of purple. Yep, I'm seeing a lot of purple. Okay, that is your night vision. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, let's see. Chris, Rios, uh, Chris and Rios are are not uh, uh, are are not blinded, um, but they don't uh, they don't have any special sight right now. Uh, Chris, when you get into kind of a darkened area, you're going to see a neat little effect. I actually already see it. Yeah. Yeah. You can see little I'm waves and stuff. Blue. Yeah. And, and it's uh, it's kind of the same thing for you, Ross, uh, with uh, with Nightbird. Uh, you've got uh, a little bit of glow from your faceplate, but you should be able to see some things in green outside of the flashlight. You. Yep. All right. Okay. So I went through and I, I fought for about two and a half to three hours 
to to get all of these things straight now i have a master's degree in lighting so <laughs> uh okay uh if nobody has anything else and stop me if you do um let's get uh, let's get to it okay the consequences consequences of Peach's flashlight, and and some of you guys are not going to like this straight out. Uh, when Peaches, you turn on your flashlight and turn it around to see what's going on with the ninjas. Um, here's what happens: Artorius, uh, first round stymie penalty, but no darkness penalty. So you have a basic stymie. Um, if you would left click on your uh, token and then right click and the the middle uh, effect on the right hand side um, uh, it looks like a person with radiant uh, you know some kind of radiance around them uh, yeah, and, and then just click on stymie and that will apply an automatic minus two um, there you there go. go perfect uh, so that's you for darkness uh, you do not have any darkness penalty okay but you do have a stymie penalty for this first round only. All right. Okay. Uh, Chris, Peaches, and Rios. Uh, you do have... Okay. I'll explain this in a minute. You have a minus two darkness penalty, and that should be in the list as well. As a matter of fact, let me see real quick. Um, yes. There's, there's a dim. It's the third road down... Um, second, third, and fourth one from the left, you'll have dim, dark, and pitch black. Uh, you would have a dim penalty, but don't add it yet. Well, you can add it if you want to, but you don't need to. Um, and I'll, uh, but there's a zero with the alternate rule, and I'm going to deal with that in just a minute. I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, Nightbird and the three ninjas that are caught up in the flashlight... There is a minus four darkness penalty, okay? And I'll explain why in a minute, Ross. Uh, so let me get these guys set up. I forgot to add the penalty to them. Uh, okay, uh, and this is due to night vision goggle flare. You're using NVGs, and when bright light is put on them, and I know this for a fact because I've trained under nods, uh, you get a, a pretty big penalty. Now, that penalty may change down in just a minute, okay, when I explain what's going on. Um, Andon and Bouchard get a minus four darkness penalty or minus two with the alternate rule. So I'm going to put minus four for darkness penalty for both of them for now. And I may be adjusting this in a minute. Uh, let's see, all other ninjas are minus two darkness penalty or zero with the alternate rule. So I'm not going to change any of their stuff yet. Here's the alternate rule. Since everybody has a penalty of some sort, um, uh, and this would even apply to your stymie, Artorius, um, if... You guys would prefer we can reduce the darkness penalty by minus or by two, uh, so that everybody's either going with a darkness penalty of zero or a minus two. Which one do you prefer, the full darkness penalty or, or just go with the minus two? Uh, I would say that would be slightly unfair to Artoria because the. His time is only going to last one round. Well, well otherwise he will. The darkness is going to see perfectly fine in darkness. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what Ross said is is true. Yeah. It's only going to last one round. It's only for one round. Yeah. So uh, I'll just leave it like it is then. Okay. I'm praying my suit at some point. Yeah, so, okay, so go, <laughs> go ahead and put on the minus four darkness penalty. It's not actually a penalty for you. Um, it's a sty That's what it is. It's a stymie for you, Ross. Uh, let's make it a stymie because uh, uh, the, the, uh, the way that your nods kind of blink out, your computer comes right back on, but your eyeballs don't necessarily adjust quite as fast. So... Uh, yeah, just uh, put a stymie penalty on, on Nightbird, and I'm going to go ahead and put an, a minus two on all the other ninjas uh, for this first round, okay? 
uh, everybody's penalties either get reduced next round um, or uh, they'll probably just get reduced because the the ninjas actually work with nods themselves okay yes so minus two there ninja one ninja six and ninja four are right in my sights yes and uh and, and actually their penalty uh since they're using nods should not be darkness um they're gonna actually be very stymied hold on just a second so they're gonna be very stymied okay let me i trying to figure out how to how best to adjudicate this and i think this is the best way and uh turn that off okay and then minus two uh i don't think i put a minus two there no i did not but it is now okay all right so there we go so the ninjas that are in your flashlight are going to have to to kind of yank off their nods i'm going to call that a simple action but the the any action that they go to do they're going to be very stymied so all right but again uh chris peaches and rios you only have the the minus two darkness penalty so go ahead and put those on uh, wait a minute. Why would you have the darkness penalty? Why did I write that up that way? You don't have a darkness penalty. Uh, you, I would say that you are kind of stymied, though. Uh, more or less a kind of a shock reaction. So, okay. That's right. So, Catherine, do you understand? Yep, you're working it. I see it. Just basic stymied, right? Uh, uh, yes, just basic stymied. Okay. Okay, and then for peaches, you're the same. Again, like I said, it's it's all a kind of a big surprise issue. All right, villains get to go first. Uh, let's see, ninja six. Um, let's see, he did a simple action. Um, you know what? I am going to go ahead and and. Uh, oh, he did open. Good. Okay. All right. Um, now, Chris, you are going to have the ability to to face off against either this attacker or this attacker. Um, you know what? Oh, that's what I forgot to do. Okay. So yeah. This attacker's back is to you. This attacker is trying to attack you. So you'll have the ability to to kind of move like normal uh, since none of you really got... It is a surprise, but actually Peach has managed to mitigate a good deal of that. So you guys with me? Yeah, when the lights went off and they stormed in through the windows, I turned on my flashlight. Yeah. Duh. Well, uh, okay. <laughs> That's easy. Yay. Okay, so Wait, this ninja, are huh? Are the windows open? Wait, are the windows open? Uh, No. No, they, they, they stormed through them, though, didn't they? Uh, they came from all kinds of locations. There is, uh, there are uh, two or three places you guys didn't actually get an opportunity to check out real well. The attic, for instance. Uh, well, an attic or the the um, the walk-in closet in the main bedroom, the um, uh, the uh, uh, yeah, where is that? The second floor. Um, the storage room here. Storage. Uh, you know, th th there's guys. You know, coming up the stairs, coming down through the ceilings, coming in through the windows. They're ninjas. They can pretty much go where they want to go. Um, okay, so popping out of the woodwork. Popping out of the woodwork, exactly. Um, so you hear, "Bring me their eyes," and then Chris, uh, uh, a katana, uh, comes up against you. That should automatically be taken into account. 
no multi-action, no favored, uh, not doing an all-out attack, not trying to hit a vital area. Okay, and, and it says under status effects, stymied minus four. Let's see if, uh, that he stymied minus four. So let's see what this does. Okay. Ooh, good lands. Okay, so it's a standard success. The modifier is in there, so minus four, very stymied. Um, you take two shock. Okay. Now, wait a minute. Hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, I need to look at something on your sheet. Um, let's see. Is it under gear? Okay, shield ring. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I need to look under effects. The shield ring is activated. Let me see what it does. <coughs> yes, okay, it does add to your defenses. So that is now taken into account. Okay. Um, so Wait, doesn't Defender win when attacked? Uh, action total 15 versus 15 target melee weapons or dexterity. Uh, yes, but um, anything from minus 4 to 0... Uh, still counts as two shock instead of four. So you still take two shock. Uh, consider it like trying to maneuver so that you don't get something important cut off. Okay. Yep, it's it's there. Um, uh, it could have been minus four. So I, I, I understand, but uh, I just said doesn't uh, Defender win? And we are at the very same result-wise. 15, 15 target melee weapons or dexterity. It still counts. Still counts as a zero. Effect over toughness. Uh, you know what? You're right. Defender wins. Why is that not accounted for? Because it says defender wins in the rules. Um, I got to bring that up. So, okay, uh, I'm just going to write down Defender wins. And I'm going to double check uh, to make sure that's in the rules. Uh, but in every role-playing game I've ever played in my entire life, Defender always wins when it's a tie. Uh, so, okay, that would that would have been a pretty good hit, though, against you. Let's see. <laughs> no, I'm I really hard to hit. So that was really hit good. The, AC, the same number or higher you hit. Yeah, you know what? I, let me check that out real quick. Okay. Um, Maverick, shush. Yeah. I wish Sarah was home so she could watch him. Okay. So now there are games that you say time. Defender wins. I have some games like that. So, but okay, I don't know. Tour well enough. No. I really shouldn't be my room. But. Difficulty numbers. The defenders dodge for ranged attacks. In close combat, D, uh, DN is melee weapons. If the foe is armed with an appropriate weapon or unarmed combat, if he's not, you're you're considered to be armed, right? It doesn't matter. Your your skill is the same. Or your defense is the same. Rifles used as clubs. Okay, if the attack uh, is... I guess so, yeah. Okay, here it is. Page 115. If the attack is equal to or greater than the target's matching defensive skill, the attack causes damage. See page okay, 116. So two, sh two shock. Okay. Okay, that's ranged attacks, resolving damage. Okay, I've got resolving damage. That's not a problem. So, yeah. Uh, thank you for calling that out. Uh, I'm sorry it did not go in your favor. Um, not, uh, sorry, fine. not sorry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've played one game when somebody hits your armor class or whatever difficulty in the roll to hit you, mm -hmm. uh, you just take half damage instead. So it's like, there's like three ways you can split it. Yeah. Okay. So the next one goes to Bouchard. This is Ninja 4. Let me pop open Bouchard and make sure. Come on. And I need to untag you so that I can tag Bouchard. And then I've got his sheet right here. He's going to try and get hit with, or not trying to get hit with an electric uh, katana. Um, 
Was it a fin? Okay, you do not get a card because you did take a hit. Um, the approved actions this round are defend and taunt. Okay, so against Bouchard, uh, input existing, da -da -da -da, uh, penalty, stymied minus four. Okay, roll. Okay, 15. He also takes two shock. Uh, action total 11 versus 10 target melee. So, uh, wait a minute. How did he already have two shock? I don't know. From the first ninja fight. That was from the first ninja fight. So, okay, I'm not going to worry about that. So that's what that guy can do. Um, ooh. Okay, Ross, as I was saying with, uh, with Chris... You kind of get to face your your opponent uh, immediately. Uh, let's see. He is going to use Yabu Tokanda's um, uh, if uh, by the way, if you guys want to turn your your tokens to face your opponents, you, you're welcome to do that. Uh, Yabu Tokanda's katana. K -k 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 Okay, darkness penalty, minus two. Ooh, he's going to miss. He failed. You hear you hear behind you, Ross, you hear, Hah! and you see a sword kind of flash at you, and you step back. You're turning around, but out of, out of an abundance of training, you step back. Okay, mm -hmm. and the two shock that you take. Um, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Remy, I just got your message. You. What? Uh, what's that, Ross? I shouldn't take any if he misses me. Well, uh, yeah, no, uh, yeah, that's right. No damage. Blah, blah, blah. But you take a step back anyway. That helps in his failure. How's that? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, Let me yeah, open that back fine. up. Does he so have? I'm, so I'm here now. So what? I'm sorry. So you say I'm here? Yes. Uh, no. No. You're you're still oh. in the square that you were in. You haven't oh, had okay. a chance to move yet, but you can turn around to face your opponent. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. I just um, to understand. You said take a step back. I hear. And I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. You're just he... saying that my intuition said duck. <laughs> yes. E exactly. Duck. Where? Uh, oh, see, you know, probably Hard to kill whirlwind. Ignore first two points of multi-target. Active defense roll is favored. Okay, he can't do an, an active defense roll this round because he did attack. He does not have more than one attack. So even as, as nasty as this guy is. Okay, so that's Yamoto. Okay. Ninja 3 is going to stay where he is because there's not really much he can do anyway. Ninja 5. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. Where's his point? Okay. Um, Ninja 5 has a penalty. He's going against Remy. So let me untarget Ross and target Artorius. And again, electric katana only. His penalty is not as bad as with the others. Okay, now watch him just fail anyway. Three, yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys are seeing these rolls, right? <laughs> yes, sir. So it is. It is. Tonight is your night, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, oh it's karma, karma, baby. Karma. <laughs> karma, exactly. Okay, so let's see. Ninja seven. So let's see. Uh, Ninja Seven is going against Anden. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rios. Oh, no, no, no. Rios, is there anything special you would have Anden do? He doesn't have cards or possibilities, but you do, and you can use them for him. Do you want him to to do a um, active defense? Do you want him to do some kind of a special thing? Uh, active defense, probably, yeah. Okay, so go ahead and roll uh, roll your active defense for Andon. You'll have to open his character sheet, of course. Or right. his, his threat so, sheet, as it were. 
Yeah. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Where would that be on oh. the, the, the list? Okay, let me pop this open. Uh, yeah, there we go. So there's Andon. Let me expand this because he's... Uh, uh, let's see, what does he have? He has Bodyguard, which allows him to redirect damage to himself once per turn. He has Brawler, which is uh, Strength plus 2. Um, he is carrying uh, his... Where's that weapon at? Uh, 450 Nitro Express, and he does have the Heavy Curus. Let me make sure that his effects are in... in okay, uh, I'm going to assume that he's got his Curus on. That's in pa passive effects, so that's good. Uh, he has no powers, and his gear is kind of limited. So, actually, let me, let me ask you. Would you have him have his uh, Saber out... Or the 450 Nitro Express, because the 450 Nitro Express is going to have a penalty for movement in the house, because it's such Ooh. a big firearm. He probably wouldn't have carried it around everywhere in someone else's house. Okay. So he'd probably have his sword out instead. Okay, so that's going to go against melee. The problem is they don't have any way yet to uh, make it the active the active weapon they they used to but they had to take it out because it wasn't working right so is there again is there anything you would want uh to do besides the active defense uh how in the hell am i supposed to roll an active defense for this guy i don't know i'm sorry it, it's probably going to be oh it's it it okay. This do you have the torque dice d twenty down in your um, macro bar at the uh, bottom yeah. toward the bottom left of yes. the okay. Go ahead and roll that, and I'll figure out the defense from there. Okay, Ooh. so Andon rolled a seventeen. That's pretty good. General game information bonus chart. Uh, 17 gets a plus 4 for all of his defenses. I have no way to add it here, so I'll have to do it by, um, yeah, by that. So, input existing, um, he's got a penalty of 4 on top of his darkness penalty of 2. Um, and I guess I can roll that. Oh, why did I do that? I'm probably going to need it. Okay, come on. Come on. Roll that dice. Um, okay, that didn't work for some reason. Oh, yeah, it did. Uh, hmm. Yep, bonus of minus four. Um, why did the die total... Well, that's what it was. So his action total turned out to be a seven versus uh, Andon's ten... Target melee weapons or dexterity. Uh, so, oh, oh my. Um, wait a minute, what did he actually roll? Action total of 7, 13. So he actually rolled. Uh, that's really weird. Um, let me get that back open. Bonus chart, 13, that's a plus 1. Um, but his melee, no, his melee weapons is a 13, so it should have been a 14 to hit, minus 6, so, okay, so there is no disconnect involved here for him, um, but he did miss, jeez, okay, I, I, I might have to transfer and into an actual character sheet, this is kind of silly, okay, um, so let's see, that is Ninja 7. Uh, it has Captain Bouchard in a weird spot, so I'm going to go ahead and have him, um, there we go, face off against Ninja 4. Uh, come on, pop open. Pop open, that's a good boy. Uh, <laughs> okay, so there's the Ninja what does he have? He's not going to fire into a crowd. Yeah, his his only thing that he can really do. Um, 
yeah, the only thing he, he can really do is um, is punch this guy. Does he have a baton? Uh, he does not. He, he's got a Glock 9mm, a 38 revolver in his shoe, or uh, in his ankle holster, yeah. multi-tool, yeah, yeah. Uh, multi-tool, <laughs> mobile phone, notebook, speed cuffs. He, he could try and apply the speed cuffs, but I don't think that's going to work real well. Um, flashlight uh, and sunglasses. He needs to pull out that samurai sword in his portable hole. Uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Portable hole. Why not? Um, okay, so he is going to go with unarmed combat uh, against, let's see, are there going to... Is he a black belt in uh, some martial art? I'm sorry, what's that? I'm just saying, now he's secretly some black belt in uh, Friday or something or something. Exactly. There you go. Okay, yeah, there's not much he's going to be able to do with that, so... Roll it, baby. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Okay, 14. He may actually have hit. Uh, no, he missed. Eh, that's too bad. But, okay, so that's him. The Bouchard. Uh, let's see, Ninja 1. Oh, Rios, it's your turn. Ninja All 1, right. pop him open. Me, me, or and in me? You, uh, Rios. Rios. Okay. It's Rio's turn. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Takes target off of that. Put it on Kitalia and Electric Katana. And let's see. Roll. Okay. Uh, two shock. And this one's also action total nine versus target melee weapons or dexterity nine. But uh, again, uh, you know, I just read it. So. But two shock is really not too bad. No, right. really. Okay, and then Ninja 2. Okay, Ninja 2. Let's see, what is Ninja 2 going to do? Ninja 2 works for honor. Okay, there are there is still honor among ninjas. He's not going to stab somebody in the back unless the fight goes way, way against you guys. So that's going to finish him. Okay. It is your turn, folks. Um, discuss anything, any actions that you might want to take as a team and what order you want those to go in. I'll give you – how much time do you think you need? <laughs> I, I didn't go. I know. Yeah. That's because it's you guys' turn now. Okay. All right, so guys, go ahead and discuss it. See what you uh, see what you might want to do. I turn around to the library and I cast fireball and you're like, "What jump?" <laughs> no, not really. No. <laughs> wow. Are you really going to fireball the room? No. No. no, 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 no. <laughs> I think everybody would. There goes the house. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, you want to do that? Um, yeah. Okay. Now, does anybody... Do okay, you guys discuss your basic actions first, and then I'll make some suggestions. How's that? Okay. It's a shame we can't defenestrate some of these guys. That's a long word. I'm not long wording today. <laughs> that, is, that is throw them out a window. Oh. Uh, I mean... Right, the third story. <laughs> Yeah, they now, probably now would. If you, now, if you tell them to use them out the window, they might not come back. Because you can squish them. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Isaac, I could probably toss somebody out the window with telekinesis, but as that would destroy a window if it's not open. Well, there's some places. Wait, you need a bigger window? Mm -hmm. I can make you one. 
<laughs> okay. Um, I, I, really? He might have the sleep ninja spell. The what? Sleep ninja. Sleep oh. sleep ninja. Sleep. I don't know. Okay, I, I'm I'm going to run from the top to the bottom because we're kind of all confused here. So Connor, I'll say real quick, I'm on does fire. Does anybody tonight. actually have a group plan? <laughs> well, that that's that's what I'm trying to get down. Let me get let's get uh, yeah. some basic ideas first, and then you guys can kind of bounce off of one another to see how you can combine abilities or change what you want to do to help one another. Okay, that's that is one of the biggest things in Torg that they not only allow for but encourage, uh, and I like that too. So, Connor, what do you want to do? I'm thinking of just squaring off with Ninja Six. Okay, go ahead and turn your your token to face Ninja okay. Six to demonstrate that you're doing that. Um, uh, Peaches. I'm gonna face off with Ninja Four. Okay, so the one maybe that's attacking a, Bouchard? Yeah, and maybe in a cooperative action with Captain Bouchard. Okay, so uh, don't don't go moving around all over the place yet. You'll uh, Peaches, you'll be able to move up there pretty quick. Uh, Rios? Uh, I might suggest to the group that maybe we all get back to back so that we don't have like any openings. Like, I'll move to the center in the room and go back to back. So that we can fire in any direction, and we'll be sure to hit something. Okay, if you <laughs> want to do that, we can either make it a free action, a simple action, or a full action. What's the shortest you can make that command? I mean, I'm in agreement. Get to my back. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm... Well, hold I'm on. I'm on the fight you guys now. Yeah. Uh, everyone to the center of the room okay i'm gonna call that a simple so you've still got one simple action that you can make uh go ahead and and get to the point where you want rios to be um actually let's see something here i need to look closer um i'm trying to see where the where the squares are it looks like Unless you want to move to this square, you're pretty much where you're going to be, but your token is facing the wrong direction. Yeah, I, that's what, that's why I was moving around a minute ago. I can't remember how to make my token change okay. directions without moving. Hold down your shift key on your keyboard. Use your mouse wheel uh, with your... There you go. Okay. Ah! So, okay, so that would be good. Um, but again, you've still got one simple action you can use. Um, oh. Man, what? I just pulled my soul. So you no, just... I'm just I was turning my character around. <laughs> I uh, noticed someone that I noticed was missing earlier. Oh, that other ninja? Yeah. He's just kind of standing there looking at you. I didn't. Yeah, okay. I didn't think about it. <laughs> you watch me while you sleep. <laughs> That's the scariest Santa Claus ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Artorius, are are you going to try and face off with uh, Ninja Five? Yeah, because I say he's probably the one that he saw first. Probably doesn't know that Ninja Two's behind him. Okay, so I say yeah. probably face off against Ninja, Ninja Five and maybe uh, work with hand and try to keep others from trying to enter the uh, the room where most of the other group is, if possible. That's at least what I'm thinking right now. Okay. All right, that's good. And uh, Nightbird, we know what you're uh, going to do. Now, of all of the actions that you guys have just spoken about, can anyone think of anything, a card to play or a an interaction to perform uh, uh, besides combat that could help uh, your fellow Storm Knights, at least does in anybody, the room? Does anybody have Bless or anything like that? That's an area of effect for allies. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Nightbird does not. She doesn't have any miracles of faith. Uh, uh, Chris does not. He is a psionic. Um, Rios does not um, for her own reasons. Um, Anden does not. Uh, I don't. For her own reasons. Um, and you don't have any, any. You don't have a blessed spell or anything. Mm -mm. Okay. No, sir. All my magic's uh, elemental, so. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah, be thinking I, about that. Uh, I, I, 
do have faith. Yeah, but bless is uh, bless is a specific miracle. I so, thought anyone could do a blessing. Um, if they well, had faith. Uh, hold on, hold on a minute. Okay, this is one that I, I like to like living land. Yeah, I think that's only in the living lands, actually. So let's see. Bounty. Okay, bless. Bless surrounds and infuses the caster and his allies with spiritual energy that boosts their physical or mental abilities. The priest chooses any one attribute and calls on his deity to enhance it. May the Lord give us the might of Daniel in the lion's den. Increase his strength, for example. Or may Vishnu grant you clarity. Might enhance mind. Uh, if successful, every ally in range adds plus one to that attribute. Increasing strength or spirit uh, does not increase the derived statistics of toughness and shock. I don't necessarily agree with that. It does not say anything about Bless being kind of natural in Core Earth. Um, I don't think there's anything that we would consider unusual to be natural uh, in Core Earth. So yeah, Bless is not going to work that way. Okay, just wondering. Okay. It worked for Mo. <laughs> yeah, that's true. If Mo were here, that wouldn't be a problem. Um, uh, of course, the lizard would take up, you know, so much room with his tail. Um, anyway, uh, what about cards? Do any of you have any cards that can grant, like a team bonus or or something that could really help you? It's not even done with the first round. We only Dintra has any cards out. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. Okay. So, uh, no, actually, Nightbird has one also. She has situational awareness. Oh, okay. Okay. So, well, that's the only two. It, okay. So, uh, Peaches, you have Chris and Nightbird that are already back to back, and Rios has kind of backed towards them as kind of a defensive stance are you going to move that way as well or are you just going to move up and and hit uh the ninja that's on bouchard uh yeah i was just going to move up anyway to, okay uh, well don't move up yet i'm we're still trying to figure out order and uh face yeah in in the process facing off with the ninja okay so uh, that would put me back to back with nightbird okay okay more or less um Okay, so you guys are all pretty much in the position that you need to move to anyway, except for Peaches, right? Mm-hmm. So, okay, Peaches, go ahead and move. Okay, shift and uh, twist. Scroll. Twist. Yeah, um, putting my flashlight in this guy's face, by the way. Uh, he's already at a minus four. You're not going to be able to hit, uh, hurt him anymore. Uh, this guy in the next, uh, this guy right here in the next round will probably uh, not have a fun time either. Um, let's see. So who wants to go first? Do we just want to go down the list, or um, you know, uh, does I'm anybody have down the list? Okay. Anybody else have a reason we shouldn't just go from the top of the list? Nah. Okay, so Andon gets to act first. Uh, Catherine, that's you. What are you going to do? Right. Uh, well, I think I'm going to have him guard the door. So okay. I think he's going to shoot at anything that's close to the door there. That's right. He rolled, an act of, back. he rolled an act of defense, huh? Yes. Uh, let me let me see something. Hold on. I think there's a way. Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. What is that? Incapacitated, prone, dead, waiting, unconscious, blind. Okay. They. Um, let's see. That's a disconnect. Aiming, malfunction, concentrating, and restraint. Um, okay. So there's nothing in particular. Uh, I'm gonna mark him as waiting for right now uh and then if the uh, the ninja is not going to try and get through this round so he's not going to attack the ninja because he could use a simple action kind of to guard the the door at the same time he's uh trying to run the ninja through uh ooh, it's up to I you yeah you could do that you can even play oh 
Uh, no, you don't have any cards that you can play out of your pool. I keep forgetting that. I've run this game for 30 years, 30 some odd years, and I always forget about the, the difference between pool and hand cards. So... Whoops. Yep, oops. So let me open <laughs> this ninja up. I think that's Andon's job. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You are not wrong. Uh, don't forget to target the ninja. Uh, take your take your mouse cursor over the top of the ninja and hit T. There you go. Aha! And then uh, just, uh, if you want to, go ahead and roll that saber. All right. And let's see what happens. If this is an amazing attack, well, it'll be kind of cool, especially with all the penalties involved. Right? Right. So that would be melee weapons, right? I uh, uh no, click on the sword. Uh hold on. Gotta expand his character sheet. Yeah. Uh equipment. So the saber, correct? The saber, yes. Alright. Do I have to log in any uh no, everything should already be taken care of with darkness penalties. Alright, hold on, it's not letting me get to where the button is. Aha, there we go. So just roll. Yep, just roll it. Come on. It'll catch up in a second. I hope I didn't Ooh. just act oh! in real voice. That was a 10. That could have been so good. Uh, okay, Ooh. so it, it gave you a failure. Your action total versus 13 uh, was a 10. Don't forget you had a, uh, you got the bonus of 4 because you rolled the 17, but your modifier was also minus 4 because of darkness penalties. So you, you literally rolled a 10. So, okay. Still, not bad. Not bad at all. That would have been a nice hit. Okay, Nightbird... see can i click on that yes i can cool i'm seeing what you're seeing Ooh, 10 and 12 so that's 22 Ooh. good success and it's still only got two shock do you want to try and throw anything at that yeah uh, i want to do a strike okay damage. and that gives you a uh, one shot well that'll give you one shock but uh what does key strike do okay Increases melee damage by two. Increases melee damage by two. Let's see. Okay, so there is uh, there is no damage bonus. So let's see. Uh, damage thirteen. So that's fifteen versus eleven. So I've got to refigure this. Uh, so that's a difference of four. Uh, no, he's still only taking two shock. If that's the case, do you have anything else well, you want to throw in? I mean. Oh well. Yeah, you've got. Yeah, throw lunch in Quintana, so. Uh, you could throw in that adrenaline card. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Can no. you? Confused. You cannot sure. use your pool cards this round. Damn it. Because you're confused. Okay, so he takes two shock though. Yeah. So yeah. that's pretty awesome. Uh, that was against uh, Yamoto. Oh. Okay, let me find Yamoto. There he is. And pop open, please. There we go. And he takes two shock. Uh, it's kind of like a big sword battle going on, an epic sword fight. Uh, you step back, and then he step back. Uh, so let's see. Uh, so that was Nightbird. All right, Rios. Uh, I just want to understand something. Okay. Because... Okay. I'm seeing it now, I think. The, it if, says strength, strength plus 4, AP 2, so the, so 9 plus 4 is the 13, oh. versus his toughness, is that what I'm... Okay, let me see something real quick here. Okay, his natural toughness should be an 11, but he's got plus 2 armor, so that gave him, gave him 13. But it's showing of an 11 toughness because the uh, armor piercing reduced his 13 yeah, uh, down to 11. So yeah, okay. fair and square, but it, that was a good hit. That's a, that's a good call. Yeah. I'm glad to see that works. Yeah. So 
Okay. Okay. All right, Rios. I'm mad that my entertainment didn't didn't work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's too bad that the extra damage didn't work. Um, see, that was a difference of. Hold on a second. Hang hang on a second. Your action total was a twenty versus his fifteen. That was a difference of five. Okay, that should have given you one bonus die. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. So, uh, f forgive me, Catherine. I'm, I've, i i got to take a minute and figure this out. Gotcha. Okay, your action total was a 20. You got a die total of 22. That gave you plus 8 and then minus 6. So, that would have been th uh, 14, 22, minus 2. So, that's 20 versus 15. You should have a bonus dice. So roll your bonus dice. Uh, hit the BD down in the lower right of that weapon success card. There you go. Okay, so that actually would make it with your key strike. Okay, the key strike gives a plus two to damage. So you had... Okay, so not everything is figured in this. I figured everything would be, but apparently not. You're using your electric, right? So yeah. it's strength plus four, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Um, plus one for your bonus dice, plus two for your key strike. So that should be, yeah, that should be sixteen versus an eleven. So that's a difference of six. He took one wound and two shock. And I think he may... Oh, no, it's Yamoto. He's not going to be out of the fight. Do I want to burn a possibility to save again? It's early in the fight. I'm going to have Yamoto burn a possibility. And the rules still apply. Uh, you only gave him one wound and two shock. So uh, he gets to drop that off by burning a possibility. Okay. So... It was a good hit, but he he uh, he he made it go away because he's possibility rated and he can do that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see now, Rios. What are you doing, yeah. Milady? You're uh, a Victorian, so you're still called Milady. Ah, uh, but of course. But of course. Uh so I guess I'm just going to stab back at the one who stabbed me originally. Okay, don't forget to target him. Gotcha. He's the one in front of me right here, it, right? Yes. Um, did you... Uh, do you have Ninja 7 still targeted because of Andon? I believe so, yes. Okay, so go back over him and hit T first. And then uh, go to Ninja yeah, 1. To yeah. Untarget and then target you that's there right okay uh and then roll it all right you shouldn't have any penalties beyond what you've already got now this I next turn I roll, I roll with my saber correct yes okay, okay. 19 oh very nice so that's two How shots how dare you stab <laughs> 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 all right let's see shock he takes two okay and i can close him up all right and it shows okay good uh wait a minute why am i not able to oh no i'm in the right spot there we go okay just had to move the map a little bit let's see Okay, uh, so that was Rios and Chris. Your turn. Is the room okay. going to be turned red or deeper red than it already is? Uh, if you buy, if you mean fire, no. I have some common sense. Not fire. Pick up and drop. Um, the ceiling's not uh, high enough, though, really. And you'd have to. Ooh. No, that would take some real strength to be able to do that. To, like, throw him through the roof. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, 
In light of those two just, options, just I'm just going to use the Inquisitor dude. Power Sword. Okay, you're going to go... Oh, okay, the Inquisitor's Power Sword? Yep. Th that's great. But you could still do try and do what Ross um, uh, suggested. Uh, you could do, like, a called shot... Uh, and and don't forget to take your your penalties your, that you already have in there. Um, let's see, called shot. Aim for a specific location. Uh, let's see. It would be the penalty would only be a minus two because you're trying to go for the main body. And if you do a called shot, you get plus four damage to vital areas if you hit. If I hit. If you hit. And how, and how do I do a call shot again? Okay, well, um, when you open up your uh, your attack sheet, at the top right-hand right, right -hand corner, you're going to see uh, two radio buttons. The one on the left says roll. The other one says input existing. Uh, in input existing, just put minus two. Or, if you don't want to do that, you can always go to the bottom of the box uh, enter where it says called shot, uh, enter one of those blanks. There's three blanks down there. Put called shot and in the box to the right, put minus two. Because I'm not sure the input existing actually works for what it's supposed to do. It should, but we we tried to work with that last week and didn't have an easy Wait, time with it. So, or on under attack options, I go called shot minus two and then click the vital area wait a minute can you uh hang on a second let me see something um so you're trying to run the inquisitor's sword through let me open that up okay um oh that's because i don't have him selected okay let's see holy crap yeah uh called shot minus two um and uh, click on vital area okay. and then hit roll. Uh, I didn't know that attack option was in there yet. Oh, oh. Uh, it's a, well, you can't, oh. you can't disconnect because you're a core earther in core earth. Um, but any so high tech weapons you have. I'm going to spend a possibility on that. Yeah. I'm going to spend a possibility. Okay. Uh, do you want to reduce your possibilities or do you want me to? Ooh. All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah! 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 So, modifiers minus four, bonuses plus nine. Yeah, everything's in order there. That's a very, very nice hit. Okay. Oh, thank you, Ginger. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, one wound. Um, let's see. And two shock. He does not have possibilities. Oh, not 20, just two. <sighs> I mean, does it really matter at that it, point? It really, really doesn't matter. Uh, wait a minute. Which ninja? Hold on. Which ninja was that? Ninja six. Ninja six. Uh, where is he? There he is. And pow. Okay. Don't forget to remove it your targeting. Huh? Dead as a dodo. Yep. Dead as a dodo. Do 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 do. Okay, uh, so that was Chris. Peaches, you're back right in time. <laughs> so don't forget to target your Ninja 4. And what are you going to try and do? Um, I think I just need to brain him with an axe. That's... Oh, <laughs> damn. Um, so it's going to take a simple action to get that out. But you still got a simple action after that. Yeah. So... Uh, remember, I, th I, th I think my gun is still jammed, that's why. Oh yeah, until the end of the scene. Um, uh, don't forget to take your, um, your cursor over the top of Ninja 4 and hit T on your keyboard to target him. Alright, let's see, over here, mm -hmm. select T. There you go. And, and then... all of and your penalties here. should automatically be in place. All right, then um, roll. You should. Yeah. Um. Click on the axe. 
yeah. uh, to make the attack and then hit roll. I don't see where there should be any uh, uh, any other hit, modifiers. Melee's or dex. Um, any b no bonuses? I guess you said that. Right. All of those are taken into account. Ah. Okay, but you roll the six. It's not a possible disconnect. Do you want to throw anything at it? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm one of possibility. Okay. Because uh, um, I don't have anything in my pool that I could spend as one. Uh, yeah, okay. and, and you can't spend anything from your pool right now anyway because you guys are confused. <laughs> yep. So I'm going to spend a possibility. Great. Um, would you uh, mark that off for me, please? Sure. I can take care of that, Ginger. There you go. Hey, Chris, did you did you tell me you wanted me to mark one off, or did you do it? I marked one off. Okay. All right. Thank you. I uh, marked one off. Okay. Cool. Um. So plus seven, eleven versus nine, two shock. So old boy uh, uh, takes. Uh, <sighs> let me open him up. Boy, it's the beginning of a fight. You can tell. <laughs> 